topic time 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 I miss the cue <laughs> it's fine and the topic <laughs> is right? and the topic is <laughs> he's so out of it <laughs> That baby needs a hit. World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, Sean. Yes, sir. I just want you to know, I played this game uh, a long time ago. <laughs> no, you did not and, this one. Uh, yeah, no, I exactly like that this one. one. <laughs> it really is. Uh, if you played vanilla, you're you're awesome. But Josh told me you didn't play vanilla. I played... No, oh, I did play vanilla. Snap. Josh I played... Me. Well, maybe it wasn't... Uh, no. So now we're backtracking. See? Josh doesn't lie. He's an angel. In, I came in whenever it aired on. Um, <laughs> I came in whenever it aired on. Uh, what you call it? Um, when it aired on South Park, when oh. they did their episode, that's when I came in. It was already past vanilla, I think. At that point. no, no, no. This, yeah. this is like 2006, 2007. Yeah, it was in Burning Crusades at that point. I think. That's still vanilla. Nope. I love vanilla. Nope. Eh. Vanilla means nothing. It means pure. Stop. To me, vanilla is every. Because you're still going through the same quest lines. Like, it's just you had more content. Like this. This goes all the way up to level 60. That wasn't the case. Are you taking my material? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm going to let you talk about that material. I'm totally going to be here the whole time. <laughs> you're totally not looking and or buying a new vape while I talk about this. I'm not breaking down because I have. We got this. I swear we do. I promise. Oh. So it's on me, John. Yeah. I'm, I'm and, okay. And Chris, we're sorry this happened. I really, dude, I promise you, I do not have it. This, this bit will live in infamy. Um, I don't have it. I walked in, I was hot. I laid down my power rate. I have a helmet that I laid down. We need I, to know that you believe and us. And I, I told Penny to get the F off me because she loves me and jumps on me. Swear. <laughs> I promise. Y'all talk about this game. Okay. We got you. 20 minutes at the most, bro. Still here. I know. You're still here. So, <clears throat> so what do you really want to talk wow. about? Wow. <laughs> Let's not talk about wow today. You want to no. talk about something else. Yeah. Astral chain early. Oh, huh? If we get done, hit the space, it'll stop recording, right? Yeah. I got you. We're good. We know how to do this. Yeah. He totally just told me how to executive produce the show. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, we're talking about wow classic and I'm the only one that's played it. And Chris's input was that he I played, played it. I played it when it was, uh, <laughs> in its infamy. When you, when you saw it on South Park. <laughs> yeah. I, I played it. No, I played it with Josh back in the day. You swear you did. No. <laughs> okay. Cause you're a dirty liar. <laughs> when was the, when was the original, when did this launch, um, the original one? Uh, that's a, I have, I, I think around 2004 or five. Okay. I think. That sounds um, right. That sounds right. I don't know because I didn't play it. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> We're going to... You got me pulling up this. Um, Classic recreates the game and state after it was patch 1.12 in September of 06. And that would have been before the Burning Crusade expansion. So I think late 05... Does he got it? 06-ish? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, the, the, the whole point that we have a WoW Classic... Really has been something I think kind of brewing for, you know, like a long time. Um, fans after, after the expansions started kind of coming out, um, they would wipe out any content kind of that preceded it. Um, a prime example of that is when Cataclysm launched, that would have been, so it was vanilla, it was wow, vanilla, burning crusades, um, the Lich King, and then Cataclysm. That would have been the fourth or the third or fourth expansion, however you want to look at it. Um, so you're saying, for example, you could not go back and play, what is it called, Mists of Pandaria or something like that? No, Mists came after. So Okay. So, But basically, <clears throat> it, things could happen in in expansions that would totally wipe out literally the world, quest lines, anything like that. So wow. a lot of fans, as the game continued to have expansions, just over time, they started missing what what the original WoW had, the essence of what WoW had. And... uh I, I never experienced that because when I came into the World of Warcraft world, Penny, he'll be right back. Uh, it was during the Mist of Pandaria expansion. And I, I bought that expansion way after um, it had launched, I think. I think. 
Um, I want you know, I may be a little off on that. I remember buying the the World of Warcraft, um, all all of the ones up to that point at GameStop for like two dollars. Well, and I remember the guy going, "Why are you buying this? You know, you <laughs> can just buy them digitally now." The uh, the craziest thing about you and your gaming style, Sean, is the one the one idiosyncrasy, and, and I don't mean idiosyncrasy. I know what you mean as yeah. a negative thing. But when you it's it's the funniest and funnest thing to experience <laughs> when you get the Wow Witch. When I get it, because that's a game to its credit that you always go back to, yeah. and I feel like you always will. I I, I love what it, I don't I don't know. I don't know how to articulate to to a degree Ooh, of, oh. <laughs> of of what it does, but I I assume everybody kind of feels it. It, it gets your juices flowing. It's got it's got a fantasy element to it. It's got an RPG element to it that I'm turned off to in most games. Yeah, um, but because yeah. this is an M- MMORPG, it draws me to it because of there's an endless quest of of possibility for things that you go out there and find. Um, I, I I I've you know I've played Final Fantasy online and it does not. It does not grab me like WoW did from the first time I played it. It just doesn't. Um, so, so here we are. You know, we're at does WoW it Classic. Grab you like I grab you <laughs> sometimes. So, the the itch to really want to play vanilla started back when um, I, I originally got hooked up with Josh, friend of the show, Josh, um, and we would play. We'd be playing whatever we're playing, and and he would say things like, "Oh, that that's so cool," and, and it were. He, of course, he'd say that's so cool. But he would say something, and I would go, "Hey, did did Vanilla have that?" Because I knew of Vanilla, and I knew of the the good times and the lore that people talked about when they when they reminisced on what Vanilla was. Um, and he would say, "No, it's changed. It's like this now, or you know, no, Vanilla was this." There was always a um, in in, a, in the tone that he spoke about it, it. He definitely loved it, but also understood that that it, the game got better. An example would be like. Um, the map, the mini map, he said, I think he said in the original vanilla, there was no map. You just kind of had to know where you were going Oy. and, and just go. He's in, and, and that was, <clears throat> believe it or not, that was something that attracted me because it was, it was the, the literal of, definition of getting lost. You could get lost and not know where you were going. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember him saying that you had to run everywhere. Like it just, you had to run. There was no mounting system. And I've, I've, and I'll get into it, but I've experienced what he's talking about now because the game, WoW Classic isn't almost, it, it is a recreation of the game that would, that launched right prior to the Burning Crusade expansion, which I think is, is a good point for it to go back to. It's not like the day one WoW, cause it, I think it had some problems when it first came out, sure. but it is in essence exactly what people wanted. Um, there was a group of people that once the, the game kind of went forward, um, and, and the other expansions were out, like Mists of Pandaria, um, Warlords of Draenor, all the way up to where we're at now. With, <laughs> I've heard of Lord, Warlords, Warlords of Draenor. They call like, it, they call it Wad. <laughs> when they, when I hear Draenor, I think of like that stuff that unclogs your sink. <laughs> yeah. We just put Draenor on this plug. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm a Warlord of Draenor. But th- there were some people that made private servers that yeah. loved classic WoW. Um, some of the numbers, I'm going to pull up Wikipedia. Um, uh, just the so, reliable source for the internet. Well, I like it because it, it gave me a number just now. And it was fantabulous. I think I got to go down to... Um, it was something like 800,000 people or something where they were... They were actually... Yeah. In February 2015, there was a notable <laughs> uh, private server. It was called Nost- Nost- Nosta Larias. I did not say that right. Nosta Larias. Um, it opened in February of 2015. And had 800,000 registered accounts and 150 active players when it shut down. But it only shut down in April of 2016 because of a cease and desist sure, yeah. that came out because, because Blizzard, I think, wasn't like okay of that. And it was running the game? It was running original vanilla. Yeah. Um, and what that caused was a backlash of people that were like, uh, we, we need to, we need to do something. Like we want this. Why can't we have it? Because like I said, when another expansions come out, it will wipe things away. In Cataclysm, it was about a dragon that was very unhappy, and he literally, literally burnt land and 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 changed the landscape of the game. So if you if you were playing at that point, the thing happens, and the thing you maybe at yesterday is now gone, and it's gone forever. It's moving forward. It's been gone, um, which is kind of cool in a way that they they put an event into a and, and they put an event into a game that that can do that. Uh, but anyway, so these people try and sign this like, like petition 
on like change.org. Um, and so the, this thing starts kind of, kind of rolling. Like, and, and you hear about people on these private servers and you hear about them being shut down and you hear about people loving this classic while. Um, and eventually I think it was in 2017. That's, I think that's right. And the BlizzCon in 2017, that was the moment for me where I got chills because at that point I'd been playing with Josh. We had talked about vanilla. I, 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 everything got built up to where I'm like, man, I want to go back to the, the, what the pure, you know, the pure wow was. I want to experience that because I never got a chance to. And in that BlizzCon, the dude, uh, He's on the stage and he's like, it's uh, talking about ice cream flavors. And he's talking about like chocolate, chocolate chip or whatever. And he says, do you like vanilla? And anybody there knew exactly what that meant. They run a trailer where they, where they, they rewind everything <clears throat> from what the current expansion was all the way back to the iconic image of the dwarf in snow. And it's like World of Warcraft and the place goes nuts. And it's, it's announced that they are in development and the servers are going to be this. And then you have to wait because that was in November of 2017, I think. And, uh, wow. Classic opens on August 26, 2019. So that was just a few days ago. We're, we're, we were at a, admittedly, Chris, Chris thought of this game as, is, and if he was here, he'd agree as, is one of those things that may turn off people. Do you agree with that? Because with his of, assessment? Yeah. Yeah. He did pretty much come to that conclusion. Yeah. Cause wow, it's, it's, a, he's like, it's just another expansion. And you know, John and I said, well, we talked about some wow expansions before. And, and the reason we really chose to cover this is because of the popularity. <clears throat> we talked last week about how, how many people were watching the, <clears throat> the, the, the Twitch streams. And how many people are still trying to get into the door. Mm-hmm. Um, at well, least about a week ago. I don't know if well, it's, it's still, it's still crazy. So even, even, <clears throat> even as of yesterday logging in. There's peak hours and, uh, I still had to wait. All the servers they have now are full or, or high volumes. People can't get enough. What, how long are you waiting on average? Um, and the server I created, Richard and your wife, nice. um, usually no more than 10 minutes now. Launch okay. night, it was crazy. I ain't gonna lie. And I'll get into that. So, uh, if, if, if you are a fan of WoW, you know that WoW Classic came out on August 26, 2019. If you're not, maybe you haven't played in a while. Maybe you you just don't care. Hey, if you have a WoW account that you're paying for, it's free. All I had to do was update the uh, the Blizzard app um, to install WoW, and then I played. Um, I did not re- pre-register my name, which you could have done to secure your name for when the game launched. Um, but I was able to find a version of Richard. I had to do a little a special alt character for the A in Richard. And your wife, I just spelled funny. So... Richard is a, is a dwarf hunter. Yeah, he is. Um, and your wife is a, is a human female warlock. And they're both pretty awesome. Um, the reason I created your wife is kind of funny. I, I'm used to the hunter role, uh, being a ranged DPS role and, and what we're going to call the retail wow, which is the current wow. Mm-hmm. Um, I learned very quickly that the hunter role in, in vanilla is a hybrid meaning that you can use a gun like a ranged weapon. Um, but when the enemy that you you're attacking comes right at you, you better be on, on your, your game with your uh, melee weapons. So that's very new to me. Um, hunters in, in like the BFA expansion, if you're, if you're a ranged person, you, you don't, you don't like use a sword. It's just, it's just something you don't do. But apparently a lot of that stuff changed over the years. Um, so launch night I streamed. It was fantastic. Um, <clears throat> My stream was, was lit. <laughs> but, uh, if you Not were there, and golden. if you were there, you would see that Richard was created. And, uh, in the <laughs> open, in the open quest, you have to basically kill these wolves. In, in, in the wolves, you have to get this wolf meat. Oh my God. I have never in my life seen that many people on a screen in WoW trying to all get the same exact thing. And, and one of the things that happens is, <clears throat> is if you don't tag the thing first, like if you don't hit it first, you don't get credit for the thing. Oh my God. So, <laughs> yeah. So, it, but, but that, that, that's what kind of starts promoting the community because if you do party up and you get in the group, everybody in that party, once you take down something, gets credit for it, which is fantastic. Right. The community in vanilla seems a lot more welcoming and open than the community in the retail version of WoW. Um, maybe, maybe these people who want the nostalgia want to, to preserve what it was. Um, it's all about camaraderie and the adventure. Um, everyone, if you, if you read the, the, 
the Reddit boards or if you're in a guild or if you just read the chat, everybody's telling you to slow down, enjoy it. This game is made for that. It's not made for the, you know, the, the immediate, you know, level up as fast as you possibly can. And, and to be honest, as someone who's in the, in the world of watching streamers or, or paying attention to stuff that's going on in a while, that was kind of hard for me to do because of the fact that I am, I am up to par on this group of streamers trying to rush to get to the highest level, to get the dungeon beat first, to get the content done first. And it, but to get the views, to get the views is for the content, right? Um, so Richard, as he's leveling up, it's a slow grind. It just is. Um, I'm learning how just different it is. An example would be when you grab a quest and in current WoW, the quest immediately pops up on your screen as an objective you need to get done. In vanilla WoW, you have to go tell it to pop up on your screen to know what to do. In current WoW, when you have said quest and it tells you to go kill however many wolves, your mini map lights up and points you into, into a direction on your active quest to tell you this is where you need to go to kill said wolves. In vanilla WoW, you just get to pull up that you need to kill said wolves. You need to figure out where to go get them. How do you feel about that? It's a learning curve. I like it. I, I like that it is that different. <clears throat> so if I want an experience, if I want to go get the retail experience, I'll hop right on my other, the other Blizzard account, not the other Blizzard account, but the one that's not classic. And I can play just like, you know, I'm used to. So when you fire up the game, does it have like two windows, like uh -huh. classic and yes. Okay. Which is cool for, for a long time. <clears throat> I was being stupid when I first logged in. I wasn't selecting the right actual Blizzard account, mm -hmm. which had my guys in it. And I was always having to restart. And I thought that was an issue with the game, but it was not. Um, so with all that said, I do have some notes. John. We need to hear it. There it is. They're here. So I'm going to go over them. And, and much like if you've seen the movie eight mile, Eminem at one point is on a bus and he, you see his notes and they are a hot mess, <laughs> but in his mind, they make perfect sense. And that's how these notes are, John. Lose yourself. Um, so launch day was super fun. I mentioned I streamed it. Um, I told you guys that I created Richard and he was a dwarf hunter. Um, your wife is new. And at some point I decided also that I was going to try to go over to the horde side to see what it was about. And I created a, 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 um, a rogue troll and his name was peace out. <laughs> um, I didn't really get to go into, uh, the, the horde leveling at all. It was weird because the trolls generally. When you created a troll, its starting zone was not in the same area as the orcs, John. Um, and in vanilla, you're at, you're starting at the same, in the same part. So, um, one thing that I was spoiled on, John, and you'll relate to this was about transportation. It was very easy, um, to get from where I needed to, even, even early on because of what seemed like now looking back an abundant, um, an abundant opportunity to create flight points. Um, and they would link me from wherever I needed to go. Major cities like Stormwind and Ironforge on the Alliance side. Um, and, and classic wow, bro. They don't have as many flight points. Now these flight points have griffins that you can hop on for some coin and they'll take you where you got to go. In vanilla wow, you have to hunt these things down and they are not in the same spots that I'm used to on the, on the current expansion or the current world of the retail wow. Um, and that's a theme throughout. So I have to constantly remind myself that everything is kind of reset. <gasps> God bless you. Is there another one coming? Possibly. Uh, there's always two, but I think, I think I'm okay. So I'll, I'll be at a place mm -hmm. doing a quest that I'm very familiar with, but it's not the same. It's, it's almost like a, like a dream that you've had. And then you have it, you go to the place <laughs> in real life and it's mm -hmm. very, it's the same, but not. Um, there's one quest line that's in a, in a place called Westfall that <laughs> it bless you. Oh my God. It's fine. It's the dog. You keep rubbing the dog and yeah, you're looking to it. Yeah. Um, so the quest lines in Westfall and it's loosely, ba bla uh, <laughs> blazed, loosely based on the TV show. Um, oh my God. What's the detective TV show? That one's in Miami. Miami Vice? No. <laughs> the other one. CSI. <laughs> Miami. Yeah, I know. So I know. there's a, there's a guy named Horatio <clears throat> trying to solve a murder. Well, at the same location in vanilla, he's not there. But there is a quest there, but it's completely different. Um, so th that is very cool to see, to see that. It's almost like you, I literally have a chance to go in the past, um, which I, I find phenomenal. It's that very interesting. It's very cool. Um, you know what would be cool? What? 
if the things you do in classic affect the things you do in current wow that would be that dope. would be an awesome update. that would be dope yeah cuz it's like you are meddling in the past that would be dope um i mentioned that you get you get to get your missions and you know i told you one about the wolf and the meat uh, another great thing that current wow does when you when you um when you get the quest uh and let, let's say it tells you to go fetch wood right mm. um it kind of sparkles. If you're in the area, the stuff you sure. need to get has like a sparkle to it. So, you know, that's it. I took a picture and I may post it on Twitter. Um, in one area I had to go, it, those are fetch quests. I had to go pick up some wood. I knew exactly this, this, this same quest exists in, in current retail. Um, but I was like, okay, cool. I'll just go find the wood. It's going to be glowing. No, nah, bruh. The wood you're in, a, we don't know what wood you, looks you're like. You're in the woods <laughs> and the wood is like, it's not on. So it's just there. Yeah. It's not sparkling. I ran in circles for, for hours trying to find this wood. And then finally I went, Oh my God, that's the wood. And you basically get lucky and your mouse catches that, that one piece of wood where the icon changes. So sure. it's not a pointer anymore. Now it's like another thing. Um, do you think this would have been easier had you not played? Well, current? no, I don't know. And that's a that's actually a fantastic question. I don't know because I think games today, with that with those glowing items that you pick up, yeah, games today sort of train us to do that anyway. Yeah, I mean it's in the the Wolfenstein game we play, no. right? That's that stuff's glowing. So yeah, you so see you it, know. so you know you to right. pick it up. Um, part I think of, a lot of games are like that. Part of that is so they fat that you you get fast tracked to get to the end game content, I guess, or the end of the story. I don't know. Um, I, I actually, in a way, like that it's not there because I do find that the world, it, and I've been in the, uh, in Elwyn Forest, and that is a, that's, that's a legit forest, John, near Stormwind City. It's nice. Um, I feel like the forest is more, this is going to be a classic Sean word. It's more forestry, foresty. It just seems different in a, but it's in a good way. So I don't mind being in it, like at all. Um, it's it actually, I love running around in it. And, and maybe that's something you, we had, we had somebody watch me on Twitch. Shout out to anyone who's watched me on Twitch. For sure. Anyone who followed me because I'm streaming under my name, giving the love to, you know, of course, weekly game chat. But, uh, somebody said it was just straight. They, they were cringing having to watch me run because they knew in classic, I'm not going to be able to have the chance to have a mount until level 40. As Chris mentioned, um, the cap is level 60. That's a lot of running around. That's a lot of finding flight points that you have to, you have to find before you can link them up. Um, another, another, another instance of what I talked about when the world is a little different would be in Stormwind City where you're used to that main hub, um, where there's an auction house and there's a bank and it's a big area everybody hangs out from. It's not popping like that in this game because the auction house isn't there. The place where it's going to be, you can see how they eventually make it the auction house, but the door's closed. The auction house is around the corner and very low key. It's nothing like the current one. Um, there's a city, um, or a little, not a city, but a little hub right outside of Stormwind City. Not as popping. Lions Pride Inn doesn't have as many people in it as current, current. I, I I'm still trying to figure out where that is. Isn't that very haunting? It's kind of weird, yeah. right? Because I know these people who started with me <clears throat> at level one, they've gone somewhere because they're still on. Like I say, cause when I log on, sometimes there's a wait and the world is slap full. So they're, they, they, where are they at? I don't know. So uh, as you level up in, in retail, you get to a level 10 and it opens up your specialty. So if I'm a mage, for example, or if I'm a warlock at level 10, I get to choose what kind of warlock I want to be. Um, Penny's, if you hear Penny whine and she's waiting on Chris, we, I don't, I don't know what to do. We're here and it's not enough for her, but it's, we are enough, Penny. We love you. So like a warlock, for example, <laughs> when you hit level 10, as you, as you're leveling up to 10, the game gives you current like abilities from, from the different types of warlockism, affliction, demonology, or destruction. They give you different ones of them. And then at 10, you have to choose which one of those you want to be. You select it. And then your, your bar of abilities all updates to whatever class you picked or whatever spec of the class you picked. And vanilla wow, you are responsible for going to the trainer constantly as you level up. So I have to find the warlock trainer and they're, they're in every place that you go to. And then you have to choose wisely on spending your money that you're making, which isn't a lot to get your abilities that you want to get to get better. 
So I thought, okay, well, let's see what happens when I get the level 10. Let's see if it's like the game, the current. Wow. I hit level 10. Nope. What opens up is like an ability tree that you're able to pick what you want to be better on based on the, the before mentioned affliction, demonology and destruction lines, like in a warlock, for example. Mm -hmm. So I can pick that. See, one thing that a warlock can do is make a, a health stone. So I can conjure up this green stone. And when I need it, I can use it. It'll fill my health bar back up. So one of the traits I could pick would be to enhance how much health that gives me when I create the health stone. Or I can choose to make another ability work better, so on and so forth. Sure. Um, that's way different because I'm not choosing to be a quote unquote affliction warlock or a destruction warlock, which is that's everybody's used to that now. I didn't know that going into this version of WoW that that's how it was. So in theory, I can have a hybrid build of my warlock to pick and choose the abilities that I want to, you know, from each class, which is actually fantastic. I actually, I'm digging it. I really am. You're more specifically, you're in love. I do love it. <clears throat> do you, as I, I mean, I, I can pause. Do you have any questions, concerns? concerns. You know, you can carry this thing on. Sean, I have some concerns. <laughs> Um, how, how have you felt? Uh, are you just playing with, with Josh? No. Funny story is Josh. I was going to, I was going to bring this up and it is, it is a lot funner when you're in a group. Um, and wow is made for that, right? Mm -hmm. The current version of wow, I would say that if you want to solo it, fine. The, the, the vanilla version is set up to where sure. If you want to solo it, fine. But the, the experience that you have with other players is fantastic. Um, your wife got invited to a guild. The guild's name is I crit my pants. <laughs> crit, of course, is based on your, your crit damage. I crit um, my pants. and, and the first night I'm in the guild, a, a guy had, a guy had been, he had leveled up and probably had been playing a lot. Um, he had enough coin and he, he chose a talent that could make bags, <clears throat> make bags, bags that you need to carry your stuff that you find. Oh, that's very useful. You start off with like a, a 10 slot or nine slot bag and you fill that bad boy up quick. So without knowing me from Adam's house cat, he in the guild chat says, does anybody need bags? And I say, yes, he, he meets me. I mean, who God knows where he came from. I see him running down the road. He says, what's up? He does a little wave. He, and he, he says, how many do you need? I tell him I could use this many. How much money do you want? He goes, no, you're in the guild. Don't worry about it. If you have this, give it to me, which was like some material that he could use to make more bags for people. Nice. Super cool. There was one objective where you had to kill a um, first night of stream. If you watched it, they were lined up. You had to kill this one dude that would respawn up. And it's so cool. You don't see that a lot in, in current retail. Wow. But everybody was lined up and they were waiting their turn to get a kill on this guy. They were partying up and then you would kill it. Well, I ended up meeting a couple of dudes. We partied up one night. That was the funnest I've had so far. Cause there was three or four of us running around killing little kobolds and, <clears throat> Just, just doing damage. It was, it was awesome. We killed Hogger, our princess. We didn't kill Hogger yet. Princess is a, is a pig you have to go kill. Mm. And it's, it's not, it's not, it's fun. <laughs> and it's, it's funny because a lot of these things that you would solo, um, you have to get people. It's funny to see the chat saying, Hey, looking for a group to go kill Hogger or kill princess. Um, <clears throat> I ran across some murlocs, John. I don't know if you know who they are, mm -mm. but they're like these little sea creatures and they go Rawr! when they run at you. That's scary. You can demolish um, uh, murlocs in retail wow. You know, it's fine. I can't tell you. I posted a picture on Twitter that said basically it was a view of me about to go to the murloc village thinking it was, I was going to be an OG. I was going to roll up in there with my little minion because I'm a warlock. Yeah. We were going to do some damage. I got destroyed because <laughs> three or four of them come at you now and they are, they just, you can't do anything. It's ridiculous. Um, so, so using your abilities, I don't, I don't remember ever running out of something like mana, which if you have a magic ability, mm -hmm. you use that, mm -hmm. you eat through it. Wow. Um, wow. No yeah. pun intended. Um, I don't remember that being an issue in like in retail. Wow. So you see a lot of people, sitting down and eating eating food or drinking the water that's going to restore the mana or re restore your health. Super, super cool. Well, tell me, <clears> I'm <throat> just curious, not to lose your train of thought, but okay. the, visually speaking, oh yeah, when, when you look at this game, is this the way the game used to look, but with maybe an HD sheen to it? Or did they do did they update the visuals at all? That That's a great question. it's hard question. to imagine. This is 
2004, 2005, yeah. prior to the PS3, Xbox 360 era. Yeah. It's it's weird because I know the character creation screen, it looks terrible. Yeah. They've long since updated that and then I think updated it again to where the models of the, the classes you choose, they actually look pretty good. Since the this new classic version released? Well, no. Before the classic version released, like oh. they updated the character models. Um, okay. I, I think the the game got a nice overhaul visually during the uh, Mist of Pandaria expansion. Penny, come on, love, you're gonna be okay. Um, and and it's just grown since then. Warlords of Draenor, you know, even to cu- current Battle for Azeroth, it just looks. It's got an aesthetic to it that is very very nice. It, there, it's a way that Blizzard does its art, which is fantastic. But classic, but is- classic doesn't have that. Um, but what's funny. Um, Chris is calling me. He would like to FaceTime and he knows we're recording. So let's see what happens. Hey, Chris, we're in the middle of the Worldcraft talk. What's up? Hold up, hold up, hold up. What happened? I'm on my way back. Oh, but you didn't leave, remember? The listeners think you're still here. Yeah, but if, like, by chance I somehow went somewhere, I'm done being in that plane of existence. <laughs> okay. You know, so. I've started the journey to transverse back <laughs> to our plane of existence where I never left. You, yeah, you didn't leave. Been, yeah. You know. You're here. You're just chilling. It's just, yeah. I think it's, you should call in from the, from the, from the phone more often from the couch that you're sitting right here at. It's fantastic. I, it's quite a new, interesting technique I've been trying out. <laughs> People say it was foolish, but I feel like I'm transforming podcasting to a new level. I like it. This is fantastic. And I hope, I hope, uh, I hope that this uh, unknown art of holding a phone next to a microphone is really coming through so the people get the full gist of it. We'll find out later. Sean, <laughs> what level is your character, by the way? Um, your wife is a level 10, and Richard is a level 7. Ah, so you are still walking. Well, you don't you don't get to get a mount until level 40. Is that? I thought it was level 20. Nope. Wow. Yep. Wow. I love, uh-huh. I love how you guys are saying wow and not realizing that's like kind of a, kind of a pun. <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Level 40, bro, and it, it costs some coin. Wow. Uh, which one, uh, you have two characters? Yeah, I started, I started, um, I started Richard as the dwarf hunter, and I was not a fan of the, the blend of the hunter where you have to be proficient with like a dagger or a sword in addition to having your ranged weapon, and you have to keep up with your bullets. Like you have to buy yeah, more bullets. Do. In, in retail, it's, you just get to have unlimited bullets or arrows. So, okay. so then I, I created, I'm a, I'm a female human warlock named your wife. She is, ah. she's part of the guild. I crit my pants. That's funny. Yeah. That is funny. So that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, but why, okay. hey, real, real quick while I have you on the phone, John just asked the question, um, visually speaking, um, how does it stand? And I go, they, it clearly, they did not, they did not keep it with a sheen of what the new graphics look like. I mean, Chris, no, uh, Chris, Chris can attest to that. He saw me create my character from the jump. Chris, say what you got about that. Yeah, as soon as I watched that on the on there, because I was thinking that this was just the classic count content, but instead uh, on the new engine. And, and as soon as Sean started playing, I quickly realized that was not the case. <laughs> that was. <laughs> Like, no, this is the classic original graphics. And I mean, you can tell right away. Uh, that is, that is exactly like I, I spoke earlier. Buddy? Buddy? You know, that was like South Park that sold it on me, right? That yeah. got me to play WoW. Uh, and that is exactly the look I remember from watching. Well, I, I, he was asking me in, in to, to follow up on that question. I, I, I kind of went, ugh, on the character creation screen, but yeah. playing the game, the game just does what it does well as far as playability. Uh, it's <clears throat> it runs fantastic. And I imagine that on the computers that we're playing classic on now, it would have been like having the best computer possible to play classic WoW. And I, sure. I think those people had a slightly different experience than the ones who were running it on, on minimal stuff back then. Um, sure. Some of the more finer detail of things are, are not going to be as crisp as, as they are now. And I told John and I told the audience how, like when mist came out or warlords of Draenor, there was a new aesthetic brought to the universe that was really fantastic. 
um, yeah. and attention to detail, but it doesn't, it almost doesn't need it because of how well the, the world that you get put in and, and really the adventure you go on, it, you don't, you don't really notice it because the game does what it does so well. Yeah. So, I mean, I, it is a testament that, I mean, it's always been, WoW's always at its core been great quest, great storyline, uh, great gameplay mechanics for what it was trying to do. And all that very much I could tell, you know, I wasn't too surprised that holds up, right? Because honestly, when it came to gameplay, while they've definitely made it easier for players, the core mechanics have always been the same. That's right. I agree 100%. Yeah. Well, cool. Um, well, we're, we're at like an hour and eight, so I'm going to try to wrap up. Um, yeah. And we'll see you shortly. Yeah, I'm crossing the Fifth Avenue of Plain. Oh, uh, that's amazing. <laughs> All right, buddy. Drive safe. All right. All right. Travel. Yeah, travel well, sir, and your TARDIS. <laughs> um, but yeah, as speaking about the quest, um, I want I do want to hit on this real quick. Players have gotten real used to just hitting accept to any quest that pops up because the the font and, and the the description is right there. In classic WoW, it's it's scribbling. You hear an, a scribble like they're writing out what you need to read, and it's important to read it because the quest tells you. Where to go from here? Example, go, go find this cave. It's north of where we're at now. You get so used on a- accepting the quest and current while wow, the arrow pops up, you just kind of run that way. Mm-hmm. So if you miss that detail, you're running around in circles. Can um, you go back in a menu <clears throat> screen and see it? You can, you can go back to your quest log and the game teaches you that. Okay. You remember earlier where mm-hmm. I said how the quest pop up automatically in, in current wow? Mm-hmm. And in this wow, you, it tells you to hit a certain button. To, and then, then go select the quest you want to show up as the quest you're tracking. Nice. Which is very cool. I mentioned that how my desire to play, um, vanilla came from Josh. Um, let's see. I do know that other vanilla content, um, will be released in what they're calling phases. There'll be six phases. The sixth phase is going to be called, um, or the sixth phase will be the last phase. It's going to have stuff like Nax. And the Scourge invasion, um, you people who know WoW know what that means. Um, Chris mentioned the level cap is up to 60. Current WoW, it's at 120. But with that, they temper back a lot of things like, like actual leveling. Um, you know, you don't get as much XP bonuses and points. There's no, there's no BOA gear, which is fantastic. That's the kind of gear you can buy and then use it on any character you decide to level up on current WoW. And by equipping that gear, you get additional bonus, bonus, bonus XP. So it helps you level fast. That doesn't exist, exist yet in vanilla or classic. It's not there. So you said there's only going to be six updates. Currently what stated, is- I, I've said there's going to be six phases of, of content to be released for vanilla. I don't think their intent is to, is to go forward and release, um, you know, each expansion again. So it's like it's like Blizzard saying, "Here it is. You wanted it. We'll support it for a while, but pretty soon we hope to see you back to current WoW." Maybe I, I don't know. I mean, with, remember I told you before when they took it away from people, <clears throat> people wanted it, and they eventually made kind of the change happen. So I don't know. Maybe there's a way that they're going to incorporate the vanilla into the um, I don't know the new the new system, the new game. I say new game, even though. Even right. though it's not a new game, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's like you said, it's still got a ton of people watching it. Um, I, I want to make sure that I haven't missed anything. Um, currently, if you're wondering about reception, it's uh, PC Gamers got it at 80 out of 100. Mm-hmm. Um, and they wrote, and this is per PC Gamer, and I think this sums it up nicely uh, that WoW Classic is more than just a new version of an iconic game, that it feels like a window to a time where interacting with people online. Still felt novel and exciting, and that's that basically sums it up in a nutshell. It really does. That is an interesting point. I mean, I, I mean, I wish I could go. But I, I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't know anything about WoW until a few years after it was it had been out because I really just wasn't in this culture for a while. Right. Um, to experience this for the first time, I mean, I, I would. I would love. I would love to be able to do that. But um, I gotta say, this has got to be giving Blizzard, Activision Blizzard, a that's um, totally not the door opening. A bump, a bump in their sales. You, you would think so. And I think this is a given. I think investors are probably smiling right now. Um, 
I will say that um, I wish that Chris would find his vape. And I actually want to see him vape while we're recording and watch his eyes dilate, <laughs> <laughs> roll back into his head. But, Sean, do you feel like this is the type of game that you can that you can put your Richard on? I mean, of course. I, I, How many hours have you played? Ten, probably 20, 25 hours. Yeah. Ten. Yeah, it's a, it's. I love it. A ten. This is this is. I was thinking about how we'd Richard this, and I can't Richard it like we would a regular game. Um, but a throwback launch. Um, it's it's. I love WoW, so of course I'm going to say it's a ten because it is exactly. It it's it, it's in a pure state of good vanilliness. I love it. I want to point out that a uh, guild has already um defeated the bosses. Um, per Kotaku. When World of Warcraft first launched on November 23rd, 2004, it took 69 days to defeat the endgame raid boss, Onyxia. The 10 bosses of the Molten Core raid weren't completed and conquered until April 25th of 2005. It only took the European guild Apes six days to accomplish both feats in the newly launched World of Warcraft, World of Warcraft classic. <laughs> um, they didn't have the first level 60 character. Um, that was a gnome mage named Jokerd. He reached it on August 30th, so he went from 1 to 60 from the 26th through the 30th. That's insane. Um, they add, they haven't updated the bottom. Let me read what it says. Uh, okay, nothing. Can you think of a more loyal fan, ga- fan base to a video game franchise than um, World of Warcraft? Possi- no. Po- not WoW, but possibly the folks who play Final Fantasy. Um, maybe, maybe the folks who like have those series, like... If you've been loyal to Contra all these years, despite the fact you really haven't had a new Contra, in how long? Or like, for instance, like something like Fire Emblem, right? Those kind of people, like where they don't get new content that often. Like well, they so, they haven't gotten a console edition of this well, game for years. The reason I say that is because back in the day, and everybody likes to say back in the day, and it always means something different. But I used to love watching YouTube videos where parents would take away their wow. Yeah. It was it was hilarious. And watching these kids rage go absolutely ballistic. Yeah. Um and we all know the famous which I think was at this point we found out it was staged Leroy Jenkins. Leroy Jenkins. I, I mean, know. I Leroy could Jenkins Well, I've read it was. Um I'm yeah. glad it's not. I'm glad no, it's I thought not. it was. That's Chris. not a rage one. No, no, he's, he was he was switching to the Leroy Jenkins. I think that uh, one is fake. Yeah, I think I think it was, a, come I think it was that, a deliberate um, staged situation. That they knew that they were doing. They knew that they were doing, and they didn't disclose it until later. Yeah, yeah. but but you know, still I would trade infamy. that video for that's one of my favorite YouTube videos yeah. of all time. So um, this game has just what would video games be without World of Warcraft? You never know, right? You, I mean, I don't want to think about it. Right. And this is a game that so many people, even though it has such a huge fan base, so many people have no idea who love video games through and through, have no idea what kinds of contributions this game has had for the games that they love. I agree. Also, to kind of piggyback off that, with the, with the you don't, don't know, piggyback off what you don't know, kind of that, that mindset, we don't know how many people that are like considered famous have played it. I thought about Robin Williams was a fantastic example of a celebrity who loved to play World of Warcraft. Um, and I wonder, I wonder like if, if this would be the same for him or like what it was like when the Mr. T commercials used to come on TV. He's like I'm experiencing hits. that now and it's, it's amazing. And what you just heard was Chris coming back to life. It's fantastic. How's that feel, man? It's amazing what you can do when you transverse space and time. How much did this one cost? You pretty much got you a. That looks like the exact one you had, even though it's got different designs on it. Nah, yeah, it's a different brand. Is it cheaper? Different thing. Uh, it's different because it doesn't. That's a no. Remember how I, uh, <laughs> remember how I told you I had now. to throw the yeah. batteries out? Yeah. Internal battery. So if I find the other one, now I got two options. You, you got to take that to the game. You got to back up. Yeah. So I'm glad it worked out ish. I'm glad you were here, man. I did some World of War. So I don't know how I did on the talk. I kind of did perfectly on the you talk. You think I did all right? Absolutely. You looked a little. Sleepy at times. No, I wasn't sleepy. I was interested because you're talking to a layman of yeah. ultimate layman. I, I, I'm having I know a, nothing about the series. I don't I do, even know how it visually looks on screen. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't watch me on 
Watch me on Twitch, bro. Watching you on Twitch. Um, um, but, uh, I'm loving do it. Some, uh, yeah, we can, we can definitely pivot. I'm loving <laughs> I'm it. I'm looking at the time. I'm like, we should probably do some news. That's fine, bro. That's fine. <laughs> you Did you give it, you didn't give it a Richard? I, a 10. 10. Did 100%. you really? Yeah, but it doesn't I'd count. Give it, a 10. it doesn't count as, I don't think it's the same as like if we did a, a quote unquote new game. Sure. Um, but it's like you kind of like, it'd be like saying you went and you bought the remasters of Pet Sounds. What? Well, like from Beach Boys or Sergeant Pepper's. Lonely okay. Art. You went music. There you go. I didn't know what Pet yes. Sounds was. Sorry, and guys. I'm a like, DJ. <laughs> regardless of, regardless of the fact that it's remastered, right? Which is really nice. It's still, you know, Pet Sounds or, or Sergeant Pepper's or something like that. The, the content does not change, mm. you know, or how great its artistic achievement is, right? So how could you not give it a 10, right? All right. Well, at the end of the year, hopefully I'll get me a, gaming laptop oh really uh yeah and uh we'll um, see where it goes i'll huh? we'll see where it goes that's nice that's nice i'll put the tip in hey when you it, the tip game is the best john just a tip that's fine let's uh go to the news hey, here it goes. let's go thank you thank you